So <laughs> as you were talking, something that popped in my head is why do you think that sex is so taboo in the Black community? Oh, wow. Um, I think a lot of it has to do with um, our culture, we are very spiritual and religious uh, body, particularly in the United States. We've always been a spiritual people, but us in uh, the Americas, um, mm -hmm. in the diaspora outside of um, the continent in particular, um, you know, we are very Christian. Mm -hmm. um, and Christianity, um, from my point of view, uh, is, is very patriarchal. And so we kind of internalize these messages uh, about the hierarchy of family mm -hmm. um, and the role of the woman in society and in family. Um, mm -hmm. And she is of service. She is of service to her children. She is of service to her, her parents, to her husband. Um, and so when that happens, we kind of, uh, we don't take care of ourselves and we don't prioritize our own uh, safety, our own wellness, our own well-being. Um, so I think that's part of it. Also, I think, um, particularly in American culture, Black women have historically been very hypersexualized. Mm. Uh, and of course, you know, through the trauma of slavery and Jim Crow, you know, our bodies have been uh, commodified. And so we um, have a different relationship with our bodies than other women do who have not experienced that trauma. Uh, and so, you know, there, there's a disconnect that happens. Mm -hmm. um, and then what gets internalized is I don't deserve um, to feel as a sexual being because it will be exploited. It will be taken out of context. I will be dehumanized if I do that. Um, and so they don't feel like they're allowed to do it. They're not allowed. Mm -hmm. They're not allowed because that, um, that kind of image that, that portrayal is already kind of forced upon us anyway. Yeah. Yeah. And so a lot of women say, you know, I don't want to be perceived as that. Uh -huh. And so I'm not going to outwardly, you know, talk about my desires. I'm not going to outwardly talk about what it is that I'm pursuing, what it is that I enjoy. Mm -hmm. and, the, and, and the way that shows up in relationships is when you are intimate with a man and you don't, you have not taken the time to honor your body and figure out what feels good then you don't know how to communicate that to your partner. And so you're not getting the pleasure that you deserve. And so the orgasm gap is very real. Um, only 30% of women who are intimate with men orgasm regularly, and that's super tragic. And one of that's you know, one of the things that we want to um, address with, with women through our content, through our podcasts, et cetera, is um, closing the orgasm gap and, and letting women mm. take ownership of their sexuality and teaching them that you know, not so much this is your fault, but this is your responsibility. Mm -hmm. It is your responsibility yes, to understand yes. how to experience pleasure so that you can communicate that to a partner.